Good evening. It is the True Vapor Show number 166. <sighs> it feels like one of those days. Because it is one of those days. Good evening. <laughs> and there it is, played in the background. That's like one of my old school moves right there. <laughs> but uh, anyway, my sinuses are like jacked up today. So I'm probably going to sound horrendous. But anyway, let's start this shit up. Take it away, Mr. Fagan. What up, motherfuckers? Damn. Got the Aug Vape Double D, or what do they call it? The Foxy? I call it the Double D with the loop, 1.5. Hold on, hold on. You mean they named it the Foxy? I don't know. Is that what, that's what Mike said. Is that that's what they it. named it? Foxy, yeah, Foxy. Oh, my, okay, all right. Let's Why keep there, going. Let's keep going. Two Ds on the front of it. That's the, like the Druga fucking sign or whatever. <laughs> Anyways, uh, the Cube... From Ice Cube himself. And, uh, I ain't really got my, I'm not vaping on much, actually. What's else? Everything else doesn't have juice in it. So, cigarettes. And I got a pack of Newport and a Virginia 120 over here. Oh, I got this thing. The little LAN mini or LAN whatever. Is that a nail file? It is a nail file. It's a, it's a pod and a nail file in one. Holy shit, it looks like one. Alchemist. And what I got in this little thing, I got the uh, Ghost Stick RY4. That's it. Pretty boring. Take it away, Mr. Steve. Steve? Where the fuck Steve? That looks uh, like Mike. Mike. Take it yeah. away, Mike. <laughs> nope. yeah. He's camera shy right now. <laughs> All right, Mike. What are you vaping on tonight? Hold up. There we go. Here we go. Right. Let's see. What are we vaping on tonight? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad he finally got his. <laughs> Today I'm vaping on this Orion. <laughs> oh shit! Uh, pod system got a little Orion action going. Uh, vaping on the Foxy Ruga, uh, I guess. I don't know. I'll vape Foxy mod. Drop that on top. We got a. Uh, Top side with a 22 recurve. We are also vaping on this, uh, what's it called? Nobu? The Nabu? The Nabu Small Ant? Oh, oh snap! Fuck. Is that Mike Vapes on there? <laughs> the hell? What's up with that? So, yeah, vaping on that. Got the engine. Uh, take it away, Gregory Brown. <laughs> Thank you for the donation there, my buddy, Little Wayne. For Cream to heal Mark's circumcision scar under his hat. What's up, St. Mike and Mark? Damn, we starting to blows early. I'm vaping on that pod right there. Holy shit! That's crazy. What are these Galisi batteries just doing here randomly? Do you fuck? actually have Galisis to run the Smo Ant? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God. I'm vaping on that. Uh, my vaping, I'm also vaping on the Rebirth RDA. Got the Rebirth on the SQ. 21700. Liquids, we got some deep cuts. Some uh, Joe Turner's Raspberry Custard. We are also doing a little bit of a smoothie. Uh, there's somewhere around here. There we go. We got some smoothie and something. Uh, la, 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 la. Mr. Cannoli and something. That's it. That's what I'm vaping on. Go ahead, Scott. <laughs> what is up? Uh, first and foremost, love to give those shout outs to all the sponsors Camelot, Galisi, and Brad's Vapor. Check every one of these folks out, and you are guaranteed to get some good stuff going on there. But I will say this I have been battling with sinuses all day today, and I have just felt pretty damn horrid so i'm not doing a big buffet tonight so what i am doing tonight i am doing the orion which is probably the worst thing to be doing when your sinuses are jacked up also i got in a little goodie bag from asmodus and the only thing i've really had a chance to play with yet of course it's a pod the asmodus flow and i think 
I think I could possibly have the new contender for the Infinex here. I'm not crazy about that writing on it, but I am enjoying the vape on it. So, oh, there's other stuff here, but we'll talk about that maybe some other uh, day. Mark, can you read off that uh, donation? Please, uh, Mark. Donation from, uh, wait a minute, there is, there is nothing. There's no comment. Yeah, just read his name but, off. Who's his name? Uh, Al Suk Yadik. <laughs> Al Suk Yadik. Al Suk Yadik. Thank you for that one dollar and I think American money. Thank you. I think it's I'll suck your dick, but uh. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway. Uh, holy shit! It is I'll suck your dick. <sighs> I do love the oh, names. No. <laughs> y'all are y'all are like awesome folks out there because oh. I've always said this ever since I've been doing this. Some of the names that some of these folks can create is like. I wish I'd have thought of this before I'd have just done ST, but anyway. <laughs> oh. Is that his birth name? Mark. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a I, it's a good one. It's a good one. I thought you was going to actually sit there and kind of sound it out for me and go, oh, I see what it is, but that one I'm, just kind of flew over her head, so. Yeah. I'm super special. Oh, so, yes, we are back for a new week. Uh,. Man, I wish I was feeling better to be all crazy and shit, but I guess so far, let's talk about these mods real quick. Of course, I don't have it, but Mike and Mark do. I did get to mess with the prototype when we were in Chattanooga, and it's pretty badass, but uh, I can't believe they went with the name Foxy on it. That just doesn't, to me, it's more of a... Uh, Foxy is somebody who designs some stuff for Augvig. And uh, this might be Foxy's design. That thing is like a... It's built like a tank. I mean, yeah. it, it's a it's an awesome mod, but... Why do they make it 21700? I mean, look how tall it is. And that's 18650s in there. Well, Mark, show them what that mod will be most well-known for, which... I don't see the point, but... With you, it's going to be a little difficult, so... Push the button on the side, and then you got to... There you go. You get this oh, it worked. Button. It worked. Yeah, I got to wiggle it. Okay. Yeah, for if, you want to put it, if you want to put it in, you have to screw it in. Oh, you can pop it in and then screw it down. I don't... I mean, is there a point to this, or... Quick release. You don't have to sit there and thread it in. You could, if you want to, technically thread it in. You know, but um, it is pretty. It's nice and heavy. It is. It is. The only disappointment is this like whole side right here is just like a little tiny little thing. You open this up and it's got all this pointless crap on there. But it's a nice mod though. Yeah. Aside from that, it it's. It's what you could say stealthy, but when people get it in their hands, they're going to go, holy shit, that thing weighs a lot. Because yeah. it's yeah. it's a little bit of a paperweight there, but it's just one of those devices that's pretty cool that's got the weight to it like that. So, Plus, it looks sleek. Like, it, I don't know how to explain it. And, and, uh, shit, it reminds me of like a fat cell phone. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it is nice. Yeah. That thing is definitely cool. Uh and it sounds like they really didn't make any changes from it this summer up to the released ones now, so it's pretty cool. Other than that, Mark, what do you think about it so far? Pretty damn powerful. I'll tell you that. It's the, it does, it's variable voltage, right? It's not wattage. No, you got to press the up and down button at the same time, and you can go into wattage mode. Oh, okay. I'm running it in voltage mode then. Mark's doing it straight out of the uh, mailbox review on it, so he's not too certain with... I'm running this RDA at 3.2 volts, and this thing hits fucking like <laughs> fucking truck. Nice. Guys, do wattage mode. I'll be a son of a bitch. What's it go? What, what is the? What does it go up into in wattage? 150 watt device. Okay, well, that's voltage, perfect. Voltage up to 6.5 volts. <laughs> and it's strictly an 18650 device, correct? Yes. Dual 18650, you know? Well, that's what I said, didn't I? 
No, you said 18650. 1860 device. That's what I'm... Mark, shut the fuck up. I don't know. Why not have some useful information here? Well, like that, that is. For you, you don't know any math, so it's kind of pointless for you, correct? Is this actual math for people out there that know <laughs> math? Like, is this... Just tell me something or no, because I don't. This doesn't mean a fucking thing to me right now. Put the equation together and see what you come up with. What's the P and V? Is this like a is this a math problem? Yes, it's only for your eyes. If you can figure out that equation, you will know the meaning to life, my friend. Ba 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 ba. So what do you think's catching on yours? Have you kind of looked down in there to see? Nothing really. It's just you got to wiggle it when you hit the button. Like when I hit the button and I try to pull it, it doesn't come off. But if you I wiggle the button, pressed all the way, I can see. It's trust me. It's all the way. It won't go any further. Do you think there's something maybe that mine? I just pressed the button and a thing popped off and fell. Mine doesn't. I got to wiggle it. Do you think there, by chance, is something lodged in that button somewhere that you're not seeing that's not a... Well, no, it is going in all the way. I wonder if that... I don't, I'll try the other one they sent. I'm wondering if that little sled that's, you know, getting pushed across, if there's something in that... I mean, it's a cool idea, but... How often does, does does someone change atomizers to when they need a quick release? All right, so. There you go. Yeah, mine's. And yeah, mine's a little tighter. Hmm. You might have a little bit of a uh, faulted one there. They always send me the faulty shit. Yep. Interchangeable doors. <clears throat> oh, so they got two different colors on it. Yes. I didn't know if that was the prototype one you had. No, the prototype one I got right here. Prototype is different color. No, oh, it is. It's more of a kind of a gold. Yep. I do like the darker one. That's one more better. stuffed out. Yeah. There's more blinged out. Sweet. Og vape for you. See why? Kim, I got your picture, by the way. That was awesome. Thank you for that. But the Druga logo on there is kind of uh, makes no sense to me because Foxy had nothing to do with the Druga, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I don't. I didn't get that when we were in Chattanooga. and I seen that on there because I was thinking that maybe that it was going to be, you know. So yeah, I don't know how that works out. What's going on with that? I don't know. Yeah. Now, if you're somebody that that was your main device and you are somebody that you know swaps swaps atomizers frequently i mean it might be a good thing but for others they might seem like it's kind of pointless i don't know i don't know just it's a nice mod but that feature i think is pointless just my opinion nice mod though everybody's trying to do something different still yeah it's so, quick release, man. How many times have you tried unscrewing shit off one thing, put on another, and it's like yeah. they're rushing to do it? <clears throat> yeah. So for the impatient person, they're going to love it. Exactly. Oh, man. So let's see what we got going on in chat. Yes, uh, I did a few tests on resistance, and it seems to be on point, the resistance. I haven't had it jumping around or anything like that. Now, how long is that going to last? Time will tell. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, Tom said the mod is for swingers. Damn. Could be. There you go. 
ST ask Mark if the wig is in the vet. What? The wig is in the vet. I don't have my vet. It's been repoed. What, what the fuck are you talking about, vet? <laughs> I'm, I'm wondering if he if you'd sent your wig off to have it neutered or some shit like that. Jax X, you are you are welcome. I hope you're enjoying that there. Uh, so I got a little bit of a treat today. Uh, <clears throat> Shaq contacted me, said he's sending out a, a 21 uh, SQ squonker, so I'm pretty stoked about that. Nice. So anyway, let me show you a little trick uh, on how to get it out. This Wait. is, someone had a good point. Did, oh, I'm sorry, did I interrupt you? No, no, no. I was going to say, would you you about to pull out the WD-40? No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Someone said something about uh, it stripping. What happens here is when I press this button, I'm blinding everyone with this one here that I'm using, but there you go. See what happens. You see this piece here? Go in. See that? The threading on this side stays in place. So the correct way is... The way you push, if I'm pushing that way, the RDA, when you take it off, you push that way too. See that? Oh, okay. Let me try that. You're not supposed to, if by pulling it up, you're going to mess up the threads on so it. Push it opposite of the button. Yeah. The way the way you're pushing the button is yeah. you're going to push the RDA that way too. Yeah, it works now. Works right. the That's, I think, the intended way of doing it. The beta one that I had was a little bit more loose where I could do that. With this one here, they've tightened everything up to where sometimes it'll pop right out. See, it just popped out without me doing anything. See, mine, won't do, mine actually requires a bit of force. See that? Yeah. I just press the button and it just flinged right off. So sometimes it'll pop off. Maybe it needs to break in. There you go. You have to oh. learn how to finesse that thing, Mark. I got to... So oh, check... Real quick, we got a donation from Al B. Uh, he asks, do you guys find the profile easy to wick? Hey, Mark, look. <laughs> See, it's in. It's uh -huh. tight. See, mine doesn't you know, do that. You know why it fell? I have it angled that way, the way I would have to push it off, and it pops right out. Yeah, I think, I got, I think mine's like a, a bum one. Look. <laughs> yeah. um, the profile for me, I found it easy to wick, but if you're going to use the the cotton pieces that Wotofo provides, you're going to want to cut a lot of that cotton off. That's way too much cotton. But it, once you trim it, it's easy as hell to wick. But you want to use like a decent amount of wick because you want the wicks to stay pushed up against the mesh even after you put juice on it. So it might take a little getting, you know, a few times to get it right, but it's pretty easy. So what do you prefer more in that one, the mesh or putting a coil build in it? Oh, the mesh. I, I didn't even try it with a coil. But I the mesh all day. The mesh is a squonker. Perfect. Because when you squonk it, the juice goes, like, up through the mesh. It's perfect. Uh, do 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 Uh, hey, it is T Vapes. Thanks for telling me about the Boston Cream. Damn, that's great juice. Yes, it is. But you are welcome there, sir. Uh, Mark, did you try the barbecue beef pizza at Pizza Hut yet? Uh, I might probably stay away from that. Oh, that doesn't sound to you. Is it Man. good? That sounds like that keep you on the toilet for a good long while. Yeah. Uh, ST, what have you got in your Infinex? Uh, typically, I'm running the Solace Vanilla Bean Nick Salt. Do, do, do. What else is going on in chat real fast here? Mark, you'll be doing that shit all night. Why don't you pull the other one out and try it? I probably should. You're right. You gotta let it break in, man. 
Yeah, I'm gonna try to use it for a day and see what happens. Does this look too... I don't know what the word is. Maybe too, like... Too comic-y? Hold on, where's my remote at? Oh, there it is. Oh, not that vape. Oh, that's straight up Captain America. Yeah, that's what I, I was thinking. Like, isn't is that, that kind the Vaptio? Yeah, isn't it a little bit of stealing kind of in a way? Or That's quite a bit. Yeah. Why are all these companies circling around like Marvel comic type shit? You know, like the Avengers, now this. They want to cater to the teens out there, man. Uh, can I answer someone's question? Take it away, bro. Go fast, go fast, James says. Mike keeps saying no links in bio on YouTube, but others are still posting links to vape websites that sell. Guys, I don't care what others do. I'm going by the rules. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm, yeah, I go I, by the rules, man. I don't care what other people do. I'm going to be honest that. with you. I'm... I'm guilty of it on this show right now. So, like, in my regular videos, I no longer post links. Uh, I even let the companies know now that, look, we're just not supposed to be doing that. Now, I've got links on this to the sponsors, which still is something I shouldn't be doing, but I'm just kind of riding it right now. <laughs> but, you know, we put stuff up on the screens, too, but... Uh, real quick, thank you for the donation there, Gregory Turner. Nothing but love for you guys. Thanks for all you do. Thank you, sir, for watching. Uh, but yes, and you'll notice that a lot of people now are not putting links in there. Some people have got old links that they've just never pulled out of their stuff. So it's, it, it's kind of a crapshoot right now because, you know. I ain't taking the chance. Exactly. And a lot of people won't. Uh, it's just... Uh, Jeff, uh, you're correct. I'm not the only one. But a lot of people, they don't check others. I guess they just like checking mine. I don't know. But yeah. I'm not the only one. That's not putting links. There's quite a few. Look at Suck My Mod. Matt doesn't put no links. Yeah. Grim Green doesn't put links anymore. There's quite a few that don't. But there's a few that still do. That's their prerogative. Yeah, it's it's... Uh, again, and this is like something that me, what, me, Mike, Mark, Brian, and Heavy all sat in a room one night talking and discussing this. As much as I want to throw video up on this device right here, the detonator, I don't mind saying the word and I don't mind holding it up on screen. But me using this in the title of a video, I am afraid that my channel is going to get hit because I've used the word detonator. Okay. Now, a, a lot of people might think, well, that's stupid. Ain't shit ever going to happen. You never know it. And you never know when they might decide to go back months after you've done a video and say, oh, mm -hmm. well, that's a key word right there. Bam. It is. The algorithm picks up key words. So one of the key words was where a lot of people, I think it was foolish vapes. Wendy was another one. They used, I think, the word bomb hemp's. Yes. It's supposed to be some sort of CBD. The algorithm of YouTube picked up the word bomb. Yeah. So you cannot, if you use that word, you have a chance of your channel going down. There was a guy in uh, this Greek reviewer that had it in his title. And I messaged him. I told him, dude, you better get that shit off your title right away. And he took it down. You know, took it off his title. Exactly. And the algorithm picks it up. You're screwed. Now you can do this, though. But again, this is this is by chance. You can clearly go on YouTube and type in the word detonator, and there's videos of people making detonators. There, there, there's videos showing you how to make them, and it's in the title. Now, it might just only be because it's just flown under the radar for so long, but any of these channels are prone to getting hit. It's not just vaping. It's anything out there. Yeah. So, you know, It's just the algorithm hasn't kicked in, hasn't... Exactly. Them yet. And I'm just, I, I'm like a lot of others. Needless to say, my channel's not as large, but I, I don't want to lose my channel over some bullshit. So I'm, I'm trying to play it as safe as I can, even though <laughs> technically I am breaking the rules still on some of it with some of the links and shit like that. But I'm trying to also be as following the law as much as I can. 
of course, if you're looking at the screen right now, you're seeing the warning sign for this product contains nicotine. You know, we're trying to do all we can to, uh, you know, confide by the rules here, but I don't know. Yeah, there's a bunch of things that we're actually supposed to do on YouTube, but I think the more things that you do to help prevent your channel from getting pulled, the better. But not everyone follows, like, every rule. Yeah. But if you ever get caught, then you can't blame YouTube because you're the one that fucked up. Exactly. Again, I'll, I'll follow it as much as I can, but then there's just at a point, too, that maybe there's some things that I'm like, you know what, I'll, I'll risk it, I guess, but I don't know. Why is, what is the reason? I think it's because you can't link to websites that sell tobacco products. Exactly. That, that's what it was. Yeah. But, I mean, it's it's simple as typing in the product name into Google and finding, you know. I could say the website. I could say, like, for example, CamelotEliquids.com. But I can't help you by putting a link and direct you to go there. That's the part. And, Sid, that, that's a good point. I could just say Squid Industry Mod, but for me, I don't feel like if I can't give you 100%, I don't feel like I'm doing it justice, you know. You're just taking a chance on clicking on a video, you know. It just, I don't know. It's crazy. It's crazy that we, you know, because a year ago, I would have never thought about any of this shit. <laughs> but. Yeah, it seems like we had a lot more freedom. Yeah. We weren't worried about nothing like a year ago on YouTube. Yep. But yes, there's there's a lot of channels out there. I mean, what is so surprising about this is there are channels that have been up for years and years with some pretty raunchy material on there, and it's still there. Nothing's ever happened to them. It, it may never happen to them. But again, are you... If you've been on YouTube forever and you've kind of built up a channel, are you willing to risk it over something maybe that's pretty minor? Yep. Plus, Google's your best friend. <laughs> uh, Mark's proctologist was on ST Vapes last week. You said something about having the guys from Zampa Box on the show. Any update? No, they never hit me up. So, uh, if they hit me up, I'd be more than happy to have them on. Uh, do, do, do. Age verified to watch vape videos. Well, here's the thing about age verified. No, I guess we can. <laughs> we've been kind of. <laughs> we've been going into that somewhat, but. If your channel is age verified, uh, to my knowledge, it, what? How is it set up, Mark? It doesn't get pushed out. Well, from what I heard, they someone said that um, if you search for it, it doesn't come up in Google and stuff like that because it's an over eighteen video. I'm not sure if that's true though. I've never done it. Yeah. But it doesn't pop up, and it's not like at the top it's of the search. The majority of people that watch YouTube don't have YouTube accounts. Yeah, and plus you got to be no. signed in. To watch yeah. Whoever doesn't have a YouTube account, let's say, and they just watching YouTube videos, and let's say their your video is age restricted, that video will never show up for them. They'll never be able to find those videos. Yeah, that's I think. I mean, once again, that's another thing. Like technically, yep. we should all be doing exactly doing it. So. But YouTube, if they find it to be age restricted, they'll age restrict it for you. They've done it a few times for me. Yep. Yeah, I mean, things got things got pretty scary there a while back. You know, that's when we started creating second channels. Everybody was looking at going to Vimeo, all this shit, and then the wave rolled in and things got calm and then everybody got kind of lax again, but there's still been some shit, you know, kind of go on here and there. And, and you never know. It might be one more. We wake up and anything dealing with vape might be vanished off YouTube. You never know. I mean, we can't control that, but 
and you can't really email YouTube and ask them why or what happened because they really never tell you. They don't tell you shit. I got you, Robbie. Yeah, any just tell me, hit me up at any point in time. Just let me know something in, in advance, not like the day of or day before. Hi, Mr. Bob. But, yeah, I hope nothing ever does happen. I mean, if there's one thing I have started to enjoy, in, well, not started to, but I have for years now, I enjoy YouTube. And, and again, I don't watch vape stuff on YouTube. I watch all kind of different stuff. And I'd hate if channels got pulled down that I like to watch. I know it would suck, but... And I love getting on YouTube doing stuff, so and I hope nothing for that never happens to my channel. So, oh, thank you for the donation there, Go Fast James. Thanks for talking about this. It is more risk for getting taken down. Work around could be a landing page with sponsored companies. Anyway, thanks and keep up the good work. Well, thank you. Yeah, but still, like. You don't know if that's will work. Like we can't email YouTube and ask them because they won't really answer that question. I don't think. Yeah. So you could try it, and if your channel does get a strike or get pulled, who knows? It may or may not work. So it's one of those things you're just kind of up in the air. You don't know. I mean, pretty much. And again, I, I think we've kind of talked about this, but once you hit that hundred thousand mark on YouTube, you're you're somewhat assigned somebody. So you actually have somebody you can contact on YouTube and it's not some computer generated answers. For me, if I hit them, that's about all I get back in my face. Um, so the bigger channels can kind of contact stuff, but even at that, I, I know if Mark's tried with his person and gotten like, half-assed exactly. answers <laughs> yeah exactly it's always yeah. half-assed it's like they don't even know how to answer it because they really yeah. don't know what the algorithm is going to do exactly so it just always seems to be a crapshoot on some of this stuff so yep someone wants to know is uh sub -ohm tanks starting to make a big comeback again well sub -ohm tanks never left the majority of vapors more than i could probably say like 70 percent of vapors out there that's what they use the sub -ohm tanks yeah. So it's never gone anywhere. Now, what has been done is with mesh coils for some of the tanks, it's become even a better vape for cell phone tank users. And there's actually people that stop using cell phone tanks that are back on them again because of the mesh coils. Their flavor, the flavors off them are amazing. Hell yeah. It just seems like more of the hobbyists tend to use like an RTA or an RDA where they really don't use sub own tanks anymore and more of the hobbyist people you see seem to be on YouTube or out in chat, but you could ask any vape shop you go to. The biggest sellers in vape shops are subtle things. Yeah, subtle coils. They're not RTAs or RDAs. Yeah, if you've given up on sub ohm tanks and you haven't tried mesh coils yet, I would say give it a shot because you'll be pretty impressed with these mesh coils lately. Oh, definitely. Someone's asking about the stacked RTA uh, dual mesh configuration. <laughs> uh, I really don't have interest to do a mesh RTA try that build i'm afraid to use <laughs> you know what i'm saying yeah. off of my, to do my own uh, mesh build in an rta and, plus, and, one more thing plus the cotton itself if you guys have seen mesh reviews for rdas there's a lot of cotton yeah. now you think about it the wicking ports for rtas are small so it ain't gonna wick good um. I want to touch again on what Mark just said. This is no joke, no lie. When they started making these mesh coils and they're made right now for these sub ohm tanks, you can get a vape off of these like, I mean, it's some damn good shit now. It's not like the days of what it used to be. And I can tell you this, every mesh coil I've had for a tank so far, I've never had a bad coil. Every one of them has been good. Now, I never could say that about other pre-made coils for sub ohm tanks. But mesh, never had an issue with any of them. And mesh coils seem to last a whole lot longer than the typical, you know, regular 
coil, so... Oh, I think some things kind of slipped by. Do, 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 do. Gregory asks, ST, how does Firebolt cotton compare to your normal cotton? You know what? I don't have the Firebolt. Mike could probably answer that one. How does it compare? I don't know. Same. To me, they're the same. The only difference is, obviously, it's just easier to wick. You know? It's got the anglets. Is that what it's called? Anglets, which I like to call shoelace. Yeah. The shoelace cotton. Just simpler. Yeah, the only shoelace ones I got are the Watofo ones, and that's because they sent those. But I'm I'm finding out more and more that those are a little on the thicker side, and some of these others are a little bit easier to deal with. So I wonder if the shoelace cotton is going to become as popular as pre-made coils, to the point where people don't even use. Yeah, like, you I know. don't know. I'm seeing a lot more companies come out with this shit now. I mean, a lot more different names on them. So. It's easy and quick, and that's what folks are looking for a lot of times. So, yeah, it is really quick. Now, what they do got to do is make the cotton to fit different size coils. Exactly. Three millimeter, two point five millimeter, you know, different because it's on some cotton. Like for example, if you get like the this here, the cotton threads, and you go to use it, let's say in a uh, 3.5 millimeter. It's not going to work. It's going to be too loose in there. Yeah. You know, or if why not fit in a 2.5 millimeter coil sp specifically for certain size. And it's like the Watofo ones will not go into a 2.5. It's too damn thick. I mean, it's, it's kind of hairy in a 3 almost. But yeah. there's some tricks. Yeah, you like kind of pulling some off there. Yeah. Uh, I've done a, there's another trick too to give you an example. Let me grab a firebolt. Mm -hmm. la, 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 la. Let's go. We'll do a little dive down. I got a piece of cotton right there. I'm going to grab my scissors. Now, this here is spec for a three millimeter coil. So, to put it through a 2.5, sometimes this part, the anglet part, the plastic that's over here, will not be able to fit. And also, this cotton is too thick. So, what you do here is take a little off, snip it, pull. That plastic came off, and you can then s slide this in. It'll be. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And slide it through. Now, people are going to say, now, nah, if you got to go through that process, is it worth it? You could just might as well just cut your own cotton, which I agree. Yeah. But you could, if this is your only cotton that you have in, you know, in your possession, <coughs> those are some tricks you could do not to fit. Like this here will fit perfect in a 2.5 millimeter coil diameter. <laughs> Mm, mm, mm. Oh, I see Mr. Stan Riker right there. Isaac Sanchez. What's up, brother? Hey, my adopted son. <laughs> Stan Riker? Stan Riker reporting. Yep. What's up, Stan? And I see all the Marks, well, almost all the Marks cohorts out there. Oh, there's a message from Fagan Industries in the chat. Proctologist is out there. Yep, we ran out of a bestus for the Nada solo. Release will be delayed. Damn. <laughs> well, at least he's letting you know, you know, live. That's good. Good to hear. <laughs> oh my god. Right, uh, cotton hacker. We're missing one of Mark's names, though. I think. Proctologists, Fagan Industries. Isn't there like a Fagan side piece? Yeah, Fagan side piece. Yeah, you got all kind of... It's probably just one person, too, that's got like three or four cell phones with all <laughs> their accounts pulled up. Uh, 
I use one shoelace for two coils. Yeah, I guess you could do that. They're they're long enough. Did you guys get the um, the big UL box or no? No. Nope. Whatever the hell they sent. I got a crazy thing. Well, I got a box from Asmodus. I was showing it to Mike last night. Look at the box. It's Watofo combined with Asmodus. <laughs> what? Yeah. There is a Watofo tank and an Asmodus mod together. I've never seen two companies like that combine on one box. <laughs> that is weird. Yeah. Know? And they sent a few RTAs and RDAs. So. Didn't Rip, Rip Tripper, show this thing or have a giveaway for these things a while ago? What? These are one of the things I got in, in the uh, UL box. Yeah, that was a while back, dude. Yeah, they sent like a shit ton of these and like their new mod, I guess. His, I didn't look at the mod yet. His was like all gold, I think. Yeah. I thought I've seen these before. Oh, real quick. That's a good question there, Justin. What are your thoughts about the 25 millimeter goon coming out soon? Awesome idea. I'm kind of between the tracks on that one. As much as I've loved all the goons I've got, and I've got three of them, I love it, but I don't know if 25 millimeters is really going to make a difference to where, because it pretty much looks like the same build deck. It's got the airflow setup of the first goon, and but it's got a drip tip that looks pretty cool on it. I don't know. I might just get one for the hell of it, though. What's your thoughts? I know what Mike's. Mike ain't. Mike doesn't give a shit about it. Well, I already have the Goon Twenty Four, so it's the same shit to me. Yeah. Because it's twenty five. What is it gonna do? Change something? Exactly. I mean, the same thing. I already have it. Now, for somebody who's never had a Goon, yeah, yeah. It's a, experience it if you want to. But uh, I already have the Goon. I do like the way that they did the G, the logoing on the side of it. And, uh, you know, that's a little different look. I think it looks pretty sharp on there. But, you know, I don't know. You going to get one, Mark? Uh, yeah, 25, yeah, definitely. I love 25 millimeter RDs. Once you get it, are you going to start saying that, you know, they stole from you or that's actually, you know, something you've done and you're just trying to say some shit? Yeah, anybody that makes a 25 millimeter pretty much stole my idea. <laughs> there you go. Uh, is the Goon 25 kind of late to the party? Well, uh, maybe so. I don't know. For some people, it won't be. <laughs> that is true, Gregory. He says, "As to you're paying for an extra millimeter on the Goon and a new emblem. <laughs> that pretty much is it. Is it a different build deck or is it the same build no, deck? It's, it's the same build deck. Oh, oh, oh. So UL's got a new mod out, huh? That's the mod. Yee. Internal battery? No. Looks to be 18650, I think. Single? Yep. yep. We need another single. And then I guess a uh, new tank? I hate when they put these little fucking stickers on the side right there. It drives me nuts. Hell yeah. Come yes, on. The screws are recessed in the build deck for the goon. Oh, okay. Well. Now, somebody said they hated the 1.5. I actually like the 1.5 better than the first version myself, but that's just me. Ooh. I love that the way the airflow was done. The original Goon, I was in love with that idea. Oh, yeah, man, dude. I use that shit for freaking ever. I don't know. I never liked the 1.5. I didn't like the airflow on it. See, I loved it because it was more airflow to me, and I just, I'm somebody who likes a lot of airflow. Dude, that green is like. Not me. 
What mm-hmm. the hell? What kind of coil have they done now? Oh, it's the same one from the other tanks, the world. That's the world, right? This is... Oh, yeah, it's right on the side of the build deck. I mean, the build deck, the base. It says world. Is this the world? Yeah, it says world right there. Oh, I thought this was something... Mark never got it, so he thought it was new. I don't think I did get it. Did I get it? <laughs> I <don't remember. laughs> Uh, the new goon comes out eighty dollar plus price tag. Damn! If the new goon comes out with an eighty dollar price, I won't buy it. Oh, I thought they were saying yeah. was it? Joshua Joshua said it's fifty two bucks. That's not bad. That's 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 a good price on a goon. I think I've paid roughly around that price tag for all my goons. <laughs> What do you do? Uh, come on, Mark. Ba-da! So what is it, like an 80, 90-watt device? Find out. That takes forever to get 80, 80 watts, yep. Little power button on the bottom. Dude, that's just like their other mod, man. Just <laughs> in single battery form. What's up, Amy? This one here. Yeah, it kind right. of is. You're right. It's, yeah. got a, look, it's got the switch on the bottom. to. Yep. That's all they did. They just made it a single battery version, pretty yeah, much. Yeah, single battery version of this one. So nothing too exciting. This was, called, this was called the Iron Fist. What is this thing called? That green does not match up there, kid. What are the... Hyper gear? Hyper car? Hyper car? Uh, I don't know. Now he opened up the. He's got probably a bunch of them. That green one goes with the green. Yeah, one. they sent a. I just grabbed two random ones. Next time, make sure they can. <laughs> they go together. Yep. If you're gonna show it on here, kid. Uh, somebody just. Had, I, I kind of figured this question was gonna come. Is the new goon USA made? <laughs> There's no telling. No, it's. Probably not. not. USA made. Yeah. Amy Herb's in chat. Hello, Amy Herb. Hello, Amy. Amy Relish. Mm, doop, doop. Looks kind of like hyper crap. There you go. <laughs> that it is. It feels nice. This button is like a rubber. <laughs> like a rubber button actually feels pretty good. I've come to a point right now for me. I have no interest in anything that's a single eighteen six fifty regulated. Well, yeah, I don't either. Yeah. Not my style of vape, but... Well, unless, uh, unless if I was like a strictly a mouth-to-lung vapor, then I'm fine with it. It's more than enough, but uh, the way I vape... 21700, baby. Yeah, I need dual batteries myself. But for a mod, a regulated mod, I still prefer a dual 18650 over a 21700. Yeah. Battery life for me is fine. I just don't want the mod to be so big. You know what I'm saying with the dual? Yeah, I'm unless they. I mean, like this is something that's big, but it's exactly. It's not. It's not overbearing because it's thin. It's 3D printed. Exactly. But when you go into mods that are made with um, metals, yeah, you know what I'm yeah. I'm at a point now that if I'm gonna run something single. I prefer it to be a 21700. I, I really have not used anything 18650 in a good long while, so. Uh, ST, I'm over the goon. Warrior drop icon are my main rotations. My OG and 1.5 are collecting dust. Yeah? I haven't used my goons in forever either. Indoor Smokers is live on uh, Periscope, if anyone is interested. Wow, thanks, Mark. <laughs> I don't know why I have this app installed. And I'm, I'm only following one person. And all these guys do when they go on Periscope is they drink and get high. That's all, that's all they do. That's about all I do, anyway. So. Uh, Check out the Warpath RDA's build deck. It's interesting. I definitely will. 
Skyline on the SL is a nice setup in my opinion. Yeah, I'm I'm 21700s are like getting to be my new well not getting to be they are my love i'm that's that's about only devices i like to use now yeah but i have so many 18650 batteries like well i do I too but i and i got a million f devices that run 18650 but i, I just i just pair them up and use them inside the for dual 18650 mods yeah, yeah. If it's a single battery mod they sh got to make it 21700 yeah my opinion that's what i think do, do. I wonder if the companies are just not aware of 21700s being popular or but you know we, that's what it is remember we are talking we are hobbyists yeah for us hobbyists we know about this battery the average person that vapes has no clue what a 21700 battery is never heard of it two I think if they you know if people were to walk into a shop and you know, they were trying to sell them a device that used 21700. Let's just say it was strictly 21700. You know the price tag of the batteries in the shop are going to kind of like scare people. They're going to say, wow, that's pretty high for a battery. You know, how long is that battery going to last me? Especially if it's like a some dual device. But, uh, yeah, probably. So. Uh, Kenneth says the batteries are still hard to find. No, 20, uh, 21700s are for sale everywhere. Yeah, go ahead and go ahead and shout out where they can find some, Mike. Uh, get them off my site too. <laughs> Hell yeah, <laughs> baby. Dot com, the best ones, Samsung thirty Ts. Yes, sir. I mean, you go on any site. You go on uh, just Google twenty one seven hundred batteries, yeah. IMR, uh, eighteen six fifty battery store. So many sites selling. Yeah. You know? Definitely. Belisi. But, yeah, how could hold on? How in the fuck could we forget Galici? But we will say this though: <laughs> for Galici, if you're doing twenty one seven hundred, just be aware they're not going to fit in everything. <laughs> yeah, uh, Galici twenty one seven hundred a little bit. Th they are on a thicker side. Yeah. We demonstrated that the other night. Whose show was that on? Mark's. Oh yeah, I, I tore that. Yeah, yeah. Somebody's show. I forgot who's it was. That was me. He took one for the team. Getting drunk and high while looking through a kaleidoscope is better. There you go. <laughs> well, we have reached that point because there is another show coming on after this, and I do not want to overtake it by much. Mark, would you like to pull up the randomizer so we can do some giveaways? X1, folks. I'll wait till you guys start x one Hell yeah. X1 the shit out of this. So, again, this is going to be for U.S. residents only. Uh, we've got two giveaways to do tonight. Two giveaways. As soon as Mark is set up, we will get this shit rocking and rolling. How is someone asked how Brian's doing? He's still under the weather. Still sick. A lot of folks don't understand that when you're living with with HIV, it's harder to get rid of like colds and flus and shit like that. So when Brian yeah. gets sick, it usually takes a good three to four weeks before he gets better. Man, you never would throw anybody under the bus. <laughs> <did> you? <laughs> you gotta love Mark. When Mark's your best friend, you know you don't need any other friends. So, <laughs> uh, you ready there, kid? Uh, yep. All right, Mike. First of all, we're going to do the Camelot giveaway tonight. This is going to be for a pack of juice. So, Mike, do you have a number for us? Yes, 938. Damn. Oh, uh, I don't think there's that many people watch. <laughs> yeah. All right, so we'll just do 38. Forget about the <laughs> All right, here we go. 38, folks. Big three. <clears throat> Winner is... Holy shit, we ain't got nobody. Let's try it again. 38, nobody. Try it again. 38, son. Holy shit, we got a winner. 
Bob Shorky, S H O R K E Y, Bob Shorky. There you go. Congratulations, there, Bob. I'll tell you what you need to do here in a minute. Let's get through this other one. So, tonight, Brad's Vapor is giving away a build kit, a set of coils, and some. Hold on. And yeah, and some cotton. Yeah, I'd remember that all in my head for a second. So. You'll have something set up there for those that, you know, like to play around with your RTAs, RDAs, all that good stuff. So. Can you guys please stop posting hot dogs and chicken? I'm getting hungry. Thank damn, you. Damn. I'm glad I ate before I came on. i tell you what. Mike's always got the good numbers. Mike, you want to give us one more number? 99. I like that number. 99. Here we go. 99. Nobody is to do again let's do it again let's do it again let's do it again holy shit son of a bitch who is it she's gonna be happy she used to win all the time she hasn't won in quite a while but she won tonight congratulations <laughs> jessica rose congratulations jessica all right all i need both of y'all to do is send me an email with a photocopy of some ID with your address, birth date, all that good stuff. And we will get this stuff in the mail and get it shipped out to y'all. You need to contact me at stvapes72 at gmail.com. That is stvapes72 at gmail.com. If I was watching this show and I wasn't on the show, I would swear this fucking shit is rigged. Oh, well, of course. Uh, it, just, it feels rigged. Well, it was rigged. Well, because <laughs> you, your shows are rigged, so I think you feel that all the shows are rigged. So, it just but, feels rigged, guys. It, I yeah. can understand your pain out there. It does feel rigged. It is, but uh, <laughs> I swear you to you, gotta love it. You gotta love it. Well, folks, that's all we got. Uh,. Hopefully, I'm going to take some more medication after a while and get to be in Nana land feeling better. But uh, don't forget to go check out, what is it, the Smoker Show with Phil and Dimitri over, I believe it's on Phil's channel. Mm -hmm. So go check that out here in just a few minutes. Tell them that we sent you over. And don't forget, Andrew showed them all. Never heard of them. Uh... Also, the vape team on Thursday. And then, yes, you're going to be looking at all our ugly mugs again uh, back on Sunday. I need to interrupt you a second. Interrupt me, oh, brother. Uh, some moron in the chat says that uh, only Patreons. Yeah, <laughs> I can Patreons to win. Wow. How many Patreons you got, ST? I had no clue Jessica Rose was your Patreon. I didn't either, and I hadn't. I think I've only got like uh, one and a half Patreons, so and I don't think she's one of them. So, but hey, it's cool. It's cool. But no, nah, I think I got a total of five Patreons. But it's all good. I love it. Um, but yeah, that's all we got. I can tell you this right now for a fact. Don't be pissed off at me on Sunday night, but this is our first meeting against Pittsburgh Baltimore against Pittsburgh that is one of the best fun games and it's on Sunday night I just realized that and I was like you know what I'm not doing the show Sunday night I gotta watch a game but I'm gonna watch a game on the other monitor and be on the show so I will do both I will be so here like for same, you same thing you did last week yeah pretty much what I'll be doing through the whole football season but this one will actually be my team plan so and yes, I own the team, Mark. I put a lot of good money down, so they're mine. So that's anyway. good. <laughs> I'm glad to hear that you're on the team. I got a que got a question from Steve. He wants to know if you guys could rig the giveaways next week for him. We Pete, sure can. Yes, we can. There we go. Just Perfect. make sure he's in chat. Up. At least if he's in chat, we you know we can get away with it. So <laughs> he just said he'll be in chat. Sweet. Well, again, guys, thank you. Thank you to the sponsors, Camelot, Galisi, and Brands. Thank you for everything you do. And we are out of here. Make sure you go check out the Smoker Show. Uh, tell them we sent you. And no, let's not go Steelers. There ain't no Steelers involved in all this. But anyway, y'all have a good evening. We are outie. Peace. Bye. Mm -hmm.